The not guilty verdict for two deputies charged in the in custody death of a man. We want to provide context on how this relates to the district attorney election. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nabil Ramadna. I'm Avery Travis. DA Jose Garza won the Democratic primary this week, essentially poising him for reelection here in Travis County in November. KXAN's Brianna Hollis goes in depth on law enforcement accountability, a primary pillar of his campaign. <laughs> The final stretch of District Attorney Jose Garza's primary election campaign ran concurrently with a court case that defines one of his priorities. Two Williamson County deputies stood trial on manslaughter charges accused of acting recklessly for using a taser on Javier Ambler, who the deputies had in custody despite Ambler telling them he had a heart condition. We will continue to hold law enforcement accountable. Two days after Garza's victory speech, that Ambler case didn't go the state's way. We, the jury, unanimously find the defendant not guilty of all charges. This is the second trial against law enforcement under Garza. Neither resulted in a conviction. In November, the murder case against Austin police officer Christopher Taylor ended in a hung jury. KXAN obtained financial records showing the DA's office spent $42,000 to hire a special prosecutor to come out of retirement and work Taylor's case. And at the end of last year, DA Garza dropped 17 of the 21 indictments brought forth against APD officers related to their use of force in the 2020 racial injustice protests. In exchange, he requested a federal review of department practices. New this week, court documents show so there's now an additional indictment against one of the officers who didn't have their charges dropped from the protests. Now we did try to speak with DA Garza about this, but he wasn't available. Regarding the Ambler case in a statement, he says his heart breaks for the Ambler family and he had hoped the trial would bring them closure. In Austin, Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. Garza will take on Republican DA challenger Daniel Betts in November.